And can you tell us about a time maybe when something didn't go as, as well as expected? You know, something went wrong uh, in, in how you communicated that to your investors? Well, nothing ever goes wrong, Todd. Everything is perfect. <laughs> if anybody ever tells you that, another big red flag, run, yeah, right? right? <laughs> I tell our investors all the time that our projections are based on the current market conditions, what we current, what we know with the property. It doesn't, doesn't take into account, you know, something happening down the a water main breaking or something like that down the road. And so we have to make sure that we, we, we can underwrite for some of those extra things to make sure we have additional operating reserves for those kind of things that happen so that if something like that does happen, we don't have to do a, a, a capital call thing like that. But one thing that did happen on our properties is one of our acquisitions, we had projected a 275% rent, not percent, whew, I wish, uh, a $275 rent bump on the property because we were going to be spending about a $13,000 renovation project under doing a renovate a $13,000 renovation project. And on that particular acquisition, we Thankfully, we only do one or two prop, one or two units at a time. So we're not going to try to go in there and try to do like 30 or 40 units all of day, all in the day one, day one. Mm -hmm. So of course, we want to test the market, right? Test our theory of, yes, we think we can get this done. Because on this particular property, we checked with property management companies locally, not just the one we were going to go with, but a couple of them. We talked with, talked with some of the brokers, not just the one that we were buying it from, but multiple brokers. We, talked, we actually shopped the comps ourselves to make sure that we could actually get these rent premiums that we could actually achieve. And everybody was like, yes, 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 we can do this. It's not a problem. It'd be easy. And so we went in there, renovated the property, two of the units at around $13,000, a little over $13,000 a door, nothing, crickets. We could not get anybody to bite at the increase in the rent premium. And so what we had to do is, is we had to continue to drop down the, the price until we knew what the market was telling us as to what they could actually pay or what they would be willing to pay for that particular unit from where it was located and things like that and the amenity set. And so I think it ended up being about $175 rent bump instead of 275. So what we had to do is, is we had to go back to the drawing board and say, okay, what do we need to do to be able to reduce the renovation scope to, but to still be able to maintain the 175 rent bump? And so that's what we did. We went back to the drawing board. We reduced it from 13000 a door to just under 9000 It was actually closer to $8,000 a door. So we were able to maintain the level of investor returns that we projected, but we just reduced the renovation scopes. We didn't have to spend as much money on the renovations so we can maintain that level of, of, of returns that we had projected for the investors. Okay. So then you communicate that to the investors and kind of let them know what was happening. Like you had exactly. to- Yeah. yeah in those email updates is where we did that. We said, renovation renovation update went in there and said, we're having a challenging time for our renovations. You know, this is, this is what we're, we're trying to get. We're not getting it. And then of course we would, we were going to tell them what our plan is to try to fix it. And so we kind of talked to them about that step-by-step step through those multiple emails. And of course, investors weren't upset, right? They like, okay, is this, that's just how, that's what, that's what happens sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it didn't affect their distributions at the time. It's not going to affect their returns in the future, but it's going to allow them to be able to you know, understand what's happening on the property. So that when we do go to sell the property and we only got a 175 rent bump instead of 275, they're going to kind of know why there was that little bit of a difference there. And, you know, I, I think sometimes people, their tendency might be to try to hide those things from an investor. Like, oh, this isn't going as planned. I, I need to, I hope they don't find out, but it's not going to be very good in the long run, is it? <laughs> right.